Today, we're going to do a review of a bottle that Barrel Bourbon sent to do a review of. This is Barrel Bourbon Cast Finish Series Ice Wine. Let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to Brad's Bourbon Reviews. I'm Brad, and today we are going to do a review of a bottle sent to me by Barrel. Uh, I really enjoyed the stuff that they've sent me so far. The fav- my favorite one so far that they've sent has been the Barrel Foundation. It's a five-year, 100-proof, and like their cheaper version. Um, but I'm excited to try this. So I don't know if they watch the videos religiously, but I'm not typically a huge fan of finishing. And I'm usually not a fan of of like wine finishes because I feel like the wine kind of overpowers the bourbon. And if I'm drinking bourbon, I want to taste bourbon. I'm excited to try this because this is a cash strength version coming at 106.52 proof. First edition of this age is five years old. I was trying to think if I've ever had ice wine before. And I believe I have, I live in Orlando and uh, Disney at Epcot, I believe in the Norway pavilion has ice wine. And I think I have had that before. So let's give this a pour. Let's see what we think. Hopefully this is really good. And thank you to Barrel for sending me this bottle. I really, really appreciate it. Let's give it a nosing. Let's see how we feel. Ooh, Ooh. that nose is interesting. It's a little harsher on the nose than I was anticipating at 106 proof, but the nose is nice. There's like a grapey note, but it's not like wine grape. Kind of reminds me of like a Buffalo Trace nose. Now Barrel does blend. They don't make their own distillate. And this is a, I'm going to read the blend components here. It's a blend of a Kentucky five and eight year old, an Indiana five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11 year old, Tennessee nine and 15 year old, Wyoming nine year old. And the derived mash bill is corn 71%, rye 24%, malted barley 4% and 1% wheat. So these are limited releases, by the way. This is a, this is a this is a limited edition. I gotta be honest, this nose is really interesting. I definitely get like the oakiness coming in a little bit, which is uh, interesting because I would have thought on a finish that I would get more of this like wine nose, and it's it's grapey, but not. It's almost like candy, like grape candy. The nose is very sweet. There is a very sweet nose. It smells like a bourbon though, and, I, and I'm that's good for me because I was expecting this to have more of a wine finish nose to it. It definitely doesn't smell like average bourbon. It definitely has like, you can tell there's something a little different with it, but I don't think I would have picked like a wine finish on this. There's definitely some caramel and vanilla coming off this as well. So you are getting some traditional bourbon notes, but let's give it a mouth and let's see how we feel. Wow, that is really good. If you like really sweet bourbon, this is going to be right up your alley. I don't know what the MSRP is on this. They didn't send me like um, any like an information card or anything with this. It was just the, bo- the bottle in the box. Wow, that is good. I'm very impressed. That grape candy note definitely carries over. This is sweet. I don't know if I could drink a bunch of this in one sitting. It's like a a dessert pour. That wine note is coming really strong on on the palate the more sips I take. But it is so balanced. Like it is very balanced in the sweetness of the bourbon and like the sweetness from the wine. Like this actually works. Is it my favorite thing I've ever had? No. Is it really solid? Yes. You want to try something different and you like finishes? I would definitely say give this a shot. This is very interesting. I just wish it, it drinks a little a little hot for 106 proof. The more sips I'm taking on it now, I've had a few, it's, it's kind of mellowing out a little bit. I'm a big fan of this. I wasn't so sure I was going to really like this, but I really do I really do enjoy this. I think this is very interesting. Um, I do think this is not for everybody. I think this is something that um, is is going to be for very specific palettes. It works for me. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised it works for me because if you checked off things that I don't like off of the list, it would be like all of this, but it works. This is a good bottle that like reminds me of Christmas. I wish this, I wish I had tried this before I did my Christmas and fall video because this would be right up there with that. This was a very Christmassy holiday bottle. And I think it's great that they timed it for release this time of year. So Beryl, thank you again for sending me this bottle to do a review of. I really appreciate it. Keep in touch. I'd like to know, I really would like to try the new year's bottle i've always wanted to try one of those i've never seen one in person so if you hand any of those out i'd like to <laughs> i'd like to be a part of that because i'm very curious about those what would i give this on a scale of one to ten um i really actually genuinely like this and i think for around the holidays this is going to be a good one this would be a good one to give a gift for and be like look if i don't know if you like finished stuff but if you do this is a good holiday whiskey holiday bourbon i'm gonna give it like a a 7.9 that's a pretty high score um, and it's a really high score when you factor in the fact that I'm not really into finished bourbons, but I think it's really, really good. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. Thank you again to barrel. I appreciate it very, very much. That's the review. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one until then. Cheers. A big thank you to all the Patreon supporters you see on screen right now. 